Every summer, the world's attention descends upon the fight capital for International Fight Week. The world is watching. A celebration of mixed martial arts presented by the world's leading promotion. There's nothing like International Fight Week here in Vegas. Capped off by a stacked pay-per-view event. This is a celebration of mixed martial arts greatness. And UFC 290 on July 8th will be no different. The UFC's annual summer blockbuster has arrived and with it, all the star power you have come to expect from the combat sports leader. In the headline, featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky. He is all gas, no brakes. He is all mentality, all drive, ferocious, fearless, driven. He is a champion. This is interim title holder, Yair Rodriguez. This kid takes explosive, unpredictable techniques to a totally new level. I prefer to win. Yair Rodriguez is the interim UFC featherweight champion. The only thing that I care is being able to do what I love, and I promise I won't let you guys down. Never. In the co-main event, two-time flyweight champion Brandon Moreno. He's throwing full power shots over and over and over again. He has got tremendous boxing, and he has great submissions. Brandon Moreno has done it! And now he has that championship-level experience that has propelled him into one of the greatest 125 pounders in history. Squares off with former foe, Alexandre Pantoja. Time to settle a score once again between two alums from the same season of The Ultimate Fighter. They go the distance, a clean performance from Alessandre Pantoja. Oh, oh he's down! He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Pantoja wow. ends it! I am the next by a title! I am the next by a champion! Right here! In feature bouts, former middleweight champ Robert Whitaker. I'm the most dangerous man in the division. Oh, oh Robert Whitaker with a head kick! Oh, Whitaker pouring it on now! See the fire that burns to become the champion of the world once again. Battles hard-charging South African, Drakus Duplessis. I'm top five in the world. I'm coming for number one spot. Oh! South Africa is officially on the map now. An NCAA wrestling phenom, Bo Nickel. I'm just going to keep getting better, keep dominating, and you bet your ass I'm getting that belt. There's That's it. That's it. Bo Nickel by submission in round one. Takes on ultimate fighter alone, Treshawn Good. He's got the toughness, he's got the cardio. He wants to be one of the all-time greats. Look at that. Oh, and he's, he's asleep. Treshawn Gore, what a way to back it up this time. Let's move. Come on. From champions and contenders. Come on, let's push. The phenoms and rising stars. Basta. Hada. UFC 290 has it all. One of the more historically consequential nights in recent UFC memory. But before the best in the world go to work in Las Vegas. Ante la distancia, Bruno. Bien. Get ready. Vamos, vamos. Nice. I think we're all right. We're looking pretty good. Don't think about the outcome. You're right here right now. That's all you got. For UFC 290. Win, lose. You want to go out there and let it all go. Countdown. Strength, durability, technique, IQ, total package. The man is an absolute savage. He has zero quit in him and all win. At 145 pounds, there is no one better than champion Alexander Volkanovsky. All he wants to do is to break men. I'm away. I'm away. He's got it all. He is so well-rounded. Who captured the UFC world title. By defeating legends of the division. Alexander the Great! He's effectively stumping Jose right now. Volkanovski has largely outstruck Max Holloway. I always thought I was going to make it to the top. I believed I could be champion. This kid's got a championship level mindset. But I feel like I'm starting to exceed my expectations. I mean, this dude is terminated. And still the best featherweight in the world. The greatest featherweight of all time. Now, I feel like I can go much further. Oh! Islam Akashem submits Charles Oliveira to win the title! Now is our plan. Fly 
ride all the way to Australia and fight in pound for pound King Baker with Valkanovski. The lightweight on the line, pound for pound number one on the line. Let's do it. In February of this year, Volkanovski aimed to capture the title one weight class above, right at home in Australia. The number one versus number two pound for pound fighters in the world. There is levels to this game, and Mahajev is the highest level that you can ever go up against. He knocks people out, and if he doesn't get the job done with the punches, then he'll just drag you to the floor, strangle you, rip your arms off, or make sure and take your bat. You know what he's going to do, and you still can't stop him. This is a hard man to deal with, and he's a puzzle for the whole world. Oh, yeah. In my last fight, a lot of people thought I didn't stand a chance. They didn't think I was going to get outside the first round. They thought as soon as he grabs a hold of me, game over. This is a close, close fight. We haven't seen anybody challenge Machep, but now we're seeing it. I finished a lot stronger. And he hurts him, trying to steal the victory. You become a two-weight division champion. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the judges. Dude, I think you won that fight three two. Bro, Volk got it. Volk got it. Alexander Volkanovski to me win the fight three two. No, he did not win the fight. Alexander Volkanovski did amazing. At times, Makachev looked uncomfortable, but Islam won the fight. DC, stop it, stop it, DC. What Volk did was something that no one expected him to be able to do. Tell me that's not <sighs> a win for Volkanovski, regardless, that's especially the way he finished it. Looking at all the build-up to that fight, it was all negative. You know, nobody gave Alex a chance. What's going on, mate? From the beginning, it's always been that way. People just used Alex thinking, you know, he was a stepping stone. People just look past him, you know, he's not the biggest guy, but he just comes back time and time again. Let's go! Five seconds! Of 30, we're gonna pick it up! I truly do believe in my skills and, and what I'm capable of. Harder! That's what I'm known for. That's it, keep it there! Five! The fight IQ, the never die attitude, you know, all the right stuff. Stuff that's very, very hard to teach. Settle you got Philly. Come on. Might not have got my hand raised in the last one, fighting for that lightweight title, but just remember, I'm still the featherweight champ. The same night Volkanovski aimed to seize lightweight gold. An interim title went up for grabs. In the featherweight division, Volkanovski temporarily left behind. The moment has arrived. Between knockout artist Josh Emmett. He's a coiled spring, a muscle that just wants to explode. And Mexico's most thrilling contender, Yair Rodriguez. Proudly repping Chihuahua, Mexico. Here is the number two ranked UFC featherweight contender, Yair Rodriguez. Back in 2014, Michael, he was 22 years of age when he debuted at UFC 180. This man is so much fun to watch. He is dynamic, he's explosive, and he can get the job done anywhere. I mean, the type of strikes that he throws, you just don't see them coming. The fight against the Korean Zombie, one second left and he pulls out an elbow. The way that he throws his kicks, the way that he spins, there's no one else like him. Nearly 10 years later, Yair Rodriguez fight for a piece of the time. First round, buddy ready, buddy ready. Fight. Winner will get the featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky when he returns. Oh, crushing body kick for Rodriguez. Oh, Emmett clipped him with that right though. And that's the thing, Emmett can just land one and he's got you hurt. There's openings for Josh. The power is on Josh Emmett's side, but the speed and variation. Oh, and he attacks the body again. It's all Yair. Yair's just ferocious. Every time he throws, it's with everything that he has. He rarely hits the same thing twice. Yair's constantly attacking. Switch me, Emmett somehow ate it. Fierralo, fierralo. On bar. And there's the triangle. Coach 
Shia Rodriguez. Champion of the world. My country means everything for me. En esta edición de campeones nos encontramos con Jair Rodríguez, actual campeón interino. Tengo una figura de inspiración para muchos y sobre todo mexicanos que son tan con su gente. No necesitas resiliencia. En los primeros tres meses del 2023. Hubo tres campeones mexicanos, Brando Moreno, Jair Rodríguez y Alexa Grasso. Somos esta primera generación de 100% mexicanos que finalmente se ve como el sueño hecho realidad aquí. Representing your country, putting your flag out there, you're proud of doing that. Yo les quiero decir muchas gracias por ser un ejemplo y una motivación para todos los mexicanos y latinos en este deporte. ¡Viva México! I'm just looking at my family and friends, you know, and seeing how happy they are about all the success that I have had in my career. Amazing. Rodriguez's interim title win added to Mexico's growing list of champions crowned in 2023. And as Rodriguez now readies to unify the titles in a July 8th headliner against Alexander Volkanovsky. He recalls a time when championship dreams first began to materialize. I started believing that things were possible when I went the ultimate fighter. What's the first thing you do when you enter with him? Play hard, coach. Play hard. For my family, I'm going to win, coach. That first season of the Ultimate Fighter Latin America, Yair Rodriguez jumped out of that tough gym there early that season. Right away, you identify these guys when they walk in on day one. And Yair was the first guy like, hey, this dude has something. Yeah, congratulations, you are the Ultimate Fighter. You win the contract with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I started believing that I could win my next fight and I could win my next fight. And that's how you start. The ceiling is so high for this young man. He's got so much potential. Of course, you see the long run, and the long run is becoming the UFC champion one day. This guy just keeps getting better every time out of the game. Just a totally different beast now. In order for you to do that, you gotta do small steps, and that's what I have done. What a sportsman, what an athlete. That dude's one of one. One of one, there's nobody like him. Nobody's ever fought like him. Nobody's ever come close. Alexander Volkanovsky is really good, but if I'm at this point in my life and my career where I'm facing him is because I'm in that point as well. the interim featherweight champion Yair Rodriguez has returned to the central mountains of Mexico in preparation for his unification bout on July 8th and is once again joined by the coach who guided him to this moment. Pues aquí estoy preparando un poquito huevo con jamón y pues ahorita es, es un lujo ahorita que no está muy muy rígida la dieta estoy voy a preparar unos chilaquiles en salsa roja. I attribute my success in the UFC to all the people that I have around me. But having a champ, like a guy like that caliber, there's nothing better than it. You come, great food, great taste, everything. This guy's a man. You have friends and family pushing you. You have your coaches, trainers that are believing you. Coach Mike, he's one of those people that believe in you since the beginning. He started putting a lot of effort in me since I was in Albuquerque. And since then, I put my trust in him. We know each other as coach and fighter, and we know each other as friends as well. Since the moment he first laid eyes on El Pantera, Coach Mike Valley recognized Rodriguez's exceptional talent. And after years of perfecting their craft, the pair is primed to dethrone 
The Great Volkanovsky. The UFC has a very unique fighter in Yair Rodriguez. I don't think there's that many fighters out there that are like him. Ready, guys? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He takes a lot of risk, and of course, everybody wants to go out there and, and see him take those risks. The offensive onslaught continues for Rodriguez. Doble. Doble. So it does bring pressure, but that's how he fights. It's so natural for him. It is tough to put together a highlight reel better than this guy. People think that they know how I fight because they have seen my videos, but they don't know what it's like to be in there with me until they fight me. Oh, oh man. And they think I'm probably not too strong until they feel my hands and they realize, okay, this guy is actually strong. With flying attacks, aerial attacks, long length kicks and knees. Volkanovski brings a lot more volume. But it's nothing that we cannot figure out. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. It doesn't matter who it is. We're preparing for war. Shoulder roll, eh? Camina un poquito para atrás. Los cruzados por abajo. Sale, sale por abajo. Across the Pacific, Rodriguez's July 8th opponent is also spending time in the expanse of his nation's wilderness. You know, listen, I know there's a lot of trees, but them really, really big trees with the, the old looking ones, try not to hang under them too long. Where Featherweight King Alexander Volkanovsky makes time for those who matter most. We're gonna need some of these lighter sticks. So I'm gonna need you to find me small ones like this. You can even do like a little TP if you want. It's very important for me to spend quality time with the family. Yep, place it nice and slowly. Look at that, girls, we got it going. I spend a lot of hours in the gym, so I want to be present with my family, and there's no better way to do that than to go away and do a camping trip. I'm getting a big one. They're all the same size. I'm getting my own. Oh, be careful. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. You want to grab what you want me to get it for you? OK, so you don't want to put it directly in the fire. You want to be a little bit patient to get the best result. Pee. Right next to each other. It really is incredible for that quality time. Mom, me, I'm having another one. Look at it. Daddy, can she have another one? Yeah, she can have another one. Pink this time. It's really good for the soul, really good for my well-being, and even really good for me being a professional athlete. Legit wood-fired lamb sausages. Perfect brown all around it. Very happy with that. Really relaxes me gets me solid and ready for a big week. All right, girls, these are done. You want some sausages? <laughs> As champ camp ensues, Volkanovski takes aim at the high-powered offense of Yair Rodriguez. One, let's go. And to mimic the striking virtuoso he will soon face. Volkanovski has enlisted the services of Blood Diamond. Give it up for Blood Diamond! Right hand there, he landed the head kick to follow it up. Oh, rolling thunder from Blood Diamond. It's been awesome having Blood Diamond here for camp. Spinning this one, I've never seen that in my career. He's always been a very, very high-level kickboxer and very, very unpredictable. Where We've got a lot of flashy knockouts. He's a perfect training partner for this game. My job is to study Rodriguez. That whole awkward style and uh, being random so that I can give Alex the best version of him I can. I'm going to show you that I can systematically break anybody down, even at their own game. I've done that plenty of times before and you're gonna see that July 8th. It's an international fight week headliner for the ages on July 8th. Between the reigning king from Down Under and the interim champ from Mexico. With 
featherweight supremacy on the line. The danger factor from Yair Rodriguez on the feet is unique. The speed of his kicks is otherworldly. I was preparing myself to fight the best guy in the world. I mean, that's the unpredictability that we're talking about. Yair's just ferocious. I just know I'm ready. Yair Rodriguez is the interim UFC featherweight champion. And I'm gonna win. And man, he couldn't have looked any better along the way to the gold. You're amazing, good if you are Alexander Volkanovsky, you got to think that this will motivate him and try to see if he can add the scalp Yair Rodriguez to his legacy. Careful what you wish for, but that fight's going to be ridiculous. I am the best. Volkanovsky got to these title shots by outpacing his opponents and outwitting them with his movement and his speed. Big stick with a left hand by Volkanovsky. <laughs> Let's go indeed. And I'm going to show you July 8th. It is beyond fitting that a fight of this magnitude is happening. Talk about goosebumps. UFC 290's co-main event. Brandon Moreno coming to us out of Tijuana, Mexico. Moreno now with a guillotine. And it's tight. Whoa! Brandon Moreno submits the 5-1 favorite. We'll see the return of flyweight champion Brandon Moreno. What a performance! This guy just embodies the Mexican fighting spirit. I love to watch this guy fight. Brings it every time and never in a boring fight. Stop, stop, stop! The Mexican hero. Tijuana! You have a champion! Was taking the division by storm. Look at the passion this guy has for fighting. Look at the roar of this crowd, the support from Mexico. That's it. This man has that warrior mentality that tells him that he can stand and fight and trade with everybody. And he's going to go head first at Davis and Figueredo like no one has done before. Styles make fights. These guys just feel like they were meant to fight several times. Oh! Oh! Moreno lands again! Oh, that's slugging it out. Oh! Four title bouts. Oh! Moreno has finally gained the upper hand in this quadrilogy The former champ Davison Figueroa. Brandon Moreno oh! has done it! Case closed. Two finishes in the series for Brandon Moreno against Davison Figueroa. Awaiting in the wings is a contender Moreno has yet to defeat. Pantoja, the champion is in the building. Now is my time, Moreno, okay? Let's go! Oh, I'm the next flyweight champion, right here. I prove one more time, I'm the champion, right here. Let's go, my man, let's go. Right next, okay? Yeah. Right next, I promise. Let's go. Huh? Oh, man, I don't know, bro. Hey, give the guy a break. Devagar, devagar. Só porque eu tô te elogiando aí, seu vacilão. Everybody with the cross. Let's go. Today is special day, guys. I want to see some good soccer today. I want to see some good practice today. After Moreno fight with the Davidson in Rio. Senta, senta. Isso! I go to talk with Moreno and he's looking like very scary. Vamos lá, vamos lá. Vamos separar os times aí. Vamos começar, hein? And I called him when you want to fight. Vamos, levanta a cabeça, vamos. Boa, calma. Laço, moleque. I beat him two times before. Winner by Rio Naked Choke. Nicole, stop. Alexandre. And a chance for redemption for that man, Brandon Moreno who was knocked out of his season of The Ultimate Fighter by Alexandre Pantoja. The cannibal, Alexandre Pantoja! I have extra confidence after winning it two times. Nice! 
What would they feel the most suits to live in? And I'm ready to come for the belts. Gabriel. It's been a half decade since Brandon Moreno and Brazilian Alexandre Pantoja last met inside the octagon. John. It's been even longer since their first meeting on season 24 of The Ultimate Fighter. All right, guys, five minutes, finish your warm up, stretch out when you're home. And is the pair ready to clash for a third time on July 8th? Five minutes will start. It's Moreno who owns the title. And the man who defeated him twice. All right, guys, get in. Entering as the challenger. We're going to work in this situation here. Right away, guys, you need to put your weight forward. Put your hands on the ground. Now I'm going to circle to the side and get to the half guard. Everybody talks about how Moreno got better after the Pantoja fight. I make sure that my hand is in the middle of his, his back, and I put a heavy shoulder. Yeah, but. Pantoja got a lot better as well. He's a completely different fighter. Got it? Any question, guys? Let's go. This man, Alessandre Pantoja, is one of the very best at 125 pounds. Six wins by knockout, seven by submission. Well-rounded fighter from Rio de Janeiro. And he'll try to stretch out the long body of a Luka Sasaki. But he taps! Oh, oh that's good straight right. Missed out of a right hand from Pantoja! That's it, that's it. Alessandre Pantoja! Knocks out Wilson Hayes. So if you think 125 pounders can't slug it out, watch this guy and guess again. Oh, oh he's down. Oh, down. He's down. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Look what he did to his last opponents. Pantoja's starting to get under the neck here. Oh, it's getting tight. Brenda Royval, who is a killer. There's Got the tap. Wow. Oh, Chandra Pantoja. In the last two rounds when Pantoja. And then Alex Perez. Whoa. In the last three minutes with Pantoja. Oh my God. Oh my God. These guys are getting after Pantoja it. said he had to make a statement. It looks like he has every intention to do just that. Oh, oh Pantoja got his back. Oh. There's the tap. Alessandro Pantoja. The cannibal. And his go. cannibalistic best tonight. So the evolution is there. Troca a cabeça. Não, não tem problema. Troca a cabeça e joga ele de lado. Aí. I'm sorry for Brandon Moreno. He's a tough fighter, but he's Alexandre Pantoja time. And now I have my chance for the belt. The head of the title bout with Pantoja. Flyweight champion and Las Vegas transplant, Brandon Moreno. is splitting camp as usual between his adopted home and Fortis MMA in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas, do I have a training camp with Saif Saouf in, in Fortis MMA? Right side, never in front, never in front, Brandon. Same fake, he's waiting to counter. Don't wait on him. Oh, huge left ground and pound. Moreno hey. hurt him. Hey. He hey. cut him. And the undisputed flyweight title goes to Brandon Moreno. We connect very good in the last fight. Easy money. And then when I'm in Vegas, I have this new place. The new home of Team Assassin Baby. I'm able to just focus on myself and my game plan. Hay que mantener el peso. No te quedes muy plano en la enfrente para que puedas alcanzar a a reaccionar para quitarnos la patada de enfrente, okay? This camp we're doing it here because it is a private place. And ahí tenlo, ahí tenlo fuera, llaveando y espero de que tire para que lo puedas contragolpear. So we can discuss, so we can develop the game plan. Una finta, márcale algo enfrente. No lo dejes pensar, no lo dejes tirar. Bien. I'm very thankful with my sponsors and my management because they made that possible. Bien ese gancho, eh? Mantén la distancia, Brandon. No te pegues a él. Brandon, he's a champion with a lot of experience now. He's developing and progressing in every aspect, in every discipline. Un poquito la punta del frente también, para que puedas quitarte la patada de abajo. On my boxing side, I can see how much he's been growing. Quítale el jab, quítale el jab, quítale bien, bien, bien. 
I won't be surprised if we KO Antosha. Alexandre. He did me twice in the past, and I want to show I'm a different fighter. Better footwork, better bases, better wrestling, better jiu-jitsu. I'm just excited to fight against Pantoja and show to the world who is the best. On July 8th in Las Vegas, Moreno and Pantoja enter vastly improved from their first contests. Nice left from Moreno. He gets wobbled by Pantoja on the return. And to the victor, vivo con allá, vivo con allá, vivo con allá, arriba. Those flyweight championship gold. También patina Liga Oh, oh he heard it, Brad! I will finish him. I don't have any doubt about it. Look at this, he's out of the tent! He can't oh. This guy just keeps getting better. He has heart, my heart is bigger. Moreno's there to fight, man. This dude's got some heart. He's all heart. Pantoja's trying to get under the neck here. Oh, let's get tight. There's the tap, the cannibal, on the Andre Pantoja! Everything's more in good, I'm better. This guy is a finisher in every single ring. Oh. He has one punch knockout power that can switch anybody up in this division. Holy smokes! I'm ready for the belt. There's the tap! These are two of the most skillful men in the sport. But that championship level experience is huge for Moreno. <laughs> UFC 290 in Las Vegas will conclude International Fight Week which celebrates the promotion's global reach. A reach uniquely represented by the night's feature bout between a former champ from Australia and a surging contender from South Africa. Middleweight powerhouse, Dracus Duplessis. Being from South Africa, I have a duty to represent my country in the best way I can. You know, I guess I'm a Rahman boy. And by showing people that we can grow MMA right here at home. As a team, we are a family and we choose to spend time with each other, whether it's on the mat or off the mat. You know, you have to enjoy the small pleasures in life. I love this place, I love my people. It's like having a bride with everybody around, it's amazing. And this is where my loyalty lies. A 170 and 185 pound champ on the South African circuit, Duplessis exploded under the UFC middleweight scene. He's got the ability, the talent, the skills, and the look to really make a name for himself here in this organization. Oh, what a debut! Wow! Incredible knockout power. South Africa is officially on the map now. He has an undeniable energy about him. Five dominant wins in five UFC fights Woo! are all the more impressive. That's it. That's it. The towel. The towel just got thrown in. Considering the debilitating injury Duplessis endured throughout, Woo! but has since repaired. I've needed a nose operation for quite some time. It came to a stage where there was no breathing through one nostril and there was very limited breathing through the other. Duplessis just seems to be stressing out. And he's already breathing heavy as well. If you watch all my fights, you'll see I was breathing through my mouth. <laughs> breathing with your mouth open is very inefficient. It causes hyperventilation. Sometimes in the past, we have been a little bit fooled by the Duplessis exhaustion with that mouth open. Okay, we're doing Greco freestyle. When your one nose is completely blocked and the other nose has got 8% airflow into it, you've got 8% oxygen. And let's go. That's why a lot of times he looks completely tired. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Why? Why am I? Beautiful. Now, for the first time since he's been with the UFC, okay, Justin, try hard. He will have complete ability to breathe through his nose. Okay, and you'll see a complete new trickers. Okay, next so. Representing Sydney, Australia. 
in order for Duplessis to earn a title shot at 185 pounds. Was unbelievable! He must first get through former champion Robert Whittaker. One of the most exciting fighters that any division has ever seen. Oh, Robert Whittaker, man! You're looking at a guy who is on the run. Oh, there is a new middleweight contender in the UFC. Fans know what they're going to get when they tune into my fights. This kid is on another level. He's in a new place. My fighting style is explosive, dynamic, fast. Whitaker smells blood now. Wow. That is what's scary about Whitaker. He is a finisher. I'm unorthodox in a lot of ways. Oh, he caught him with that left. Very slick with his movements and getting better all the time. Whitaker pouring it on now! I have a certain level of threat in every fight. Robert Whitaker has dominated. He looks sensational. With my striking. Look at that. I mean, come on. Just slick. With my takedown. Just one step ahead in every single transition. And it's only getting better. Since 2014. Robert Whitaker showing off all the skills. Whitaker has earned 13 impressive victories. Defeating every man he faced. Except reigning champion Israel Adesanya. Once again, Israel Adesanya defends his title. Two head to head wins over Robert Whitaker. Losing to Izzy, it wasn't, it wasn't hard to accept. I just had to rearrange and reorganize my thought processes, and I've been better since. My greatest objective is to, to hunt down that belt, to take that belt back. I'm here in the top five, and I'm getting a title shot soon. But it doesn't exist on my timetable right now. There's no other fight past trickers. So with our first round, you get eight reps. Control the descent, and let's move this bar fast and explode. Good. Good. Nice. I've seen his fights. He's been tested. Pretty good. I understand how much of a danger that is. Good. Fast one. Good. I am going to bring something to the table that he is not equipped to deal with. Explode. That's it. Tight body. Explode. I have more cardio than he does. I have more heart than he does. I have more speed than he does. Last rep. My skill set has only gotten better. My confidence has gone through the roof. Fire. Good. I believe I'm the best version of myself. I'm a rep. I'm going to take it to him. Punch has just got 75% harder. Science. Top middleweights from distant corners of the globe. Prepare for battle. As Whitaker from Down Under. You can't fight this hurricane. And the crowd going nuts for Whitaker. Here he is, rejuvenated, revitalized, and on a quest to get his title back. And Duplessis from South Africa. You look at that guy. The list of finishes, so many stoppages. Descend on the fight capital for a top five middleweight clash at UFC 290. I'm here to beat Robert Whittaker, do it in a spectacular fashion, and get that title shot. Beautiful. And I'm preparing for an absolute war. And I'm going to be his Achilles heel. Good work, Rob. In the heart of Pennsylvania, one of the UFC's hottest prospects can be found perfecting a craft that occurs outside of the octagon, but channels some of the same skills that could be honed within it. So there he is. What's up, bro? Good. Good, good, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Boom. Bam. <laughs> nice. All right, let's 
do it. So, You're getting 100% of that boat right now. Yeah. <laughs> Max out on draw yeah. length, draw yeah. weight. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> Proudly repping State College PA. Here is the former Penn State Nittany Lion, Bo Nickel. This guy is making his UFC debut at 3-0. There's a ton of similarities between hunting and fighting. That speaks to the level of hype involved with Bo Nickel, but also the pressure. Left, slightly. Fight. The discipline that it takes to be successful at it. The time you have to put in to perfect your craft. Will right still. Nickel took his back, two looks in already. Oh, he's got the neck. You have to rep it out thousands and thousands of times at different distances to be prepared. Take it in a world of trouble early. It's the same thing with a fight. There's the That's it. That's Bo it. Nickel by submission, just the way he drew it wow. up in the debut. The wow. hype is real, kids. I'm gonna rep my punches, my submissions, all the techniques, thousands and thousands of times. Transition's just so quick. In order to perform when it comes time to fight. The confidence that this kid has. Oh my God. Me and a lot of other people are excited to see the future. That's the time. Welcome to the UFC, brother. People think, you know, oh, I've only been doing MMA for a year and a half. They forget a lifetime of work, starting when I'm five years old, training and wrestling all the way up until I was 25. I decided to transition over to MMA. There was opportunities to go train at different gyms. But I visited ATT and meeting with Dan Lambert, the owner, he and I discussed the possibility of opening up a American top team here in Pennsylvania. What's wrong, guys? Thank you for the scope of mission. We opened in August of 2021, and that's where I started my career and where I plan on training till I'm done fighting. Got a guy now, let's go. Third second. I'm just looking to continue to develop, get better, and improve my skills overall. So when the opportunities come, I'll be prepared. Nichols' next opponent will be Ultimate Fighter alum, Treshawn Gore, who is unfazed by a fight with the UFC's top rising star. Bo Nickel is a talented wrestler, but I don't really care about any hype. I see myself breaking him. This isn't pure wrestling. Trishon is in the perfect stage in his career to take all that hype. He has what it takes. The mental fortitude, the endurance, the consistency, the resilience. He's gonna crush this guy. There we go. You're not tired. The last name is Gore. You gotta gore this guy. Let's go, coming back. Let's go, all the way. Make it to the end. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Push. And time, relax, get your breath. I don't care what happens, I know you're coming out on top. It's not gonna be competitive, bro. I'm gonna dominate this guy. Originally forged by the American Top Team affiliate in Atlanta, Georgia. There we go, to show. That's it, my man. Keep going, 30 seconds. Nice, nice. Gore takes advantage of any opportunity to gain knowledge from those who came before him. Let's go to the show. Push, push, push. Kick, move around, take downs, everything. And a brief stint in Dallas, Texas, offers guidance from fellow Ultimate Fighter alum, Uriah Hall. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Here we go. 
Uriah Hall is a great guy. He just always is around giving younger fighters advice. You just gotta show up and work. Yes, sir. Dude, I learned how to play this in The Ultimate Fighter, which was 2013. Come on, let's see. I don't see myself as a mentor. I think we all come in each other's lives for a reason. Wow. <laughs> we both kind of came out of adversity. I had a troubled childhood. Damn. I saw his stories too, and a part of me just felt maybe I can help him. Uriah, he has that experience, and he wants to make sure I don't run into the road bumps that he ran into. Nah, man, I fought Chris years ago, and um, he was the first guy to beat me. In a, like an under league, and first guy to ever put fear in my head with wrestling, because... Weidman? Yeah, first guy. But I was so worried that I got caught. And that's how fear works. You know, so who's gonna go out there and impose the will? He's trying to help me fine-tune myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. hey man, I love you, bro. For real. This isn't new. Me saying I'm gonna be the pound for pound king one day. I've been believing that. Let's go! I was destined to be champion. But Nickel, I do feel like he's looking past me. And I do feel like he's a little cocky. Everybody I fight, once I grab them, once I get a hold of them, they understand that they bit off a little more than they can chew. Ooh. Oh, he's got the neck. Any of these guys that I'm fighting, I can't make them quit. Middleweight prospects at the stage. 50K, baby! For an International Fight Week showcase, as former champ Robert Whitaker battles Drake as Duplessis. Yeah. Flyweight champion Brandon Moreno squares off with former foe Alexandre Pantoja and featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky. I'm here to stay! Battles interim champ Yair Rodriguez. He can't! It's the biggest event of the year in the fight capital of the world at UFC 290.